Welcome to the Support Videos Workload Automation video series. In this video, you will see how to capture a web service response to a variable. Then we'll see a few examples of using that same response. In order to connect to a web service and get some data, we'll need the Control for Web Services 9.0 installed on a supported control agent. Also, we'll need a web service to connect to. In my example, we'll be connecting to the Control API since it's readily available. A common SOAP request is a login or register operation where login credentials are submitted in exchange for an access key. Here's an example of the user register request for Control API. Here is a response from the Control API. Note the long string return for the token. The token is something we need to save and use for a subsequent SOAP request. Here's a start of a web service job with the same user register request seen earlier. Let's pick edit SOAP request and let's click on generate. This will allow us to specify the exact XML request to send. Let's go and fill in our values here. This is for the login. And this is for the timeout. And this is for host. To capture values in the SOAP response, click on the load button below the output parameters. This will analyze the SOAP definition and reveal what's available in the response for this particular request. For this request, we have four values returned. We need the user underscore token, so we'll check it here. Then we'll click OK to continue. Here we see the list of response fields we just selected. I'll enter my user token for the variable name, so when the job runs, it will save this token value to a global variable named my user token. Please note here that the variable name does not require the percent sign at symbol or forward slash typically found in control variable names. Now we're ready to order the job, so let's do that. And let's go ahead and switch over to the monitoring domain. Oh, the job just finished. Let's take a look at the job output. After running the job, here's an example response we would get. Note the token value. To check the value of our saved variable, we can use the CTM board utility. Let's run the CTM board utility. Here's the my user token variable accessed using the CTM var utility. We see that the value has been stored in the desired variable. Thank you for watching. This concludes this control solution video. Please see our knowledge base and YouTube channel for more videos like this.